as you saw in the title, this is going to be my updated review of Clip Studio Paints. I have been using this program for a little over a year now and I've been getting really used to it and just really familiar with all the, well as many features as I can and yeah. Clip Studio Paints reached out to me yet again to sponsor this video and I gladly accepted because I do really really like their program and yeah so if you'd like to hear more about my thoughts on it keep listening. So when I first reviewed the program I had downloaded it onto my iPad. I remember um, my first impression being that it was a bit overwhelming because I was very used to Procreate and Procreate has a very minimalistic design. So with Clip Studio Paint, it was very like, it was a lot all at once, it felt like to me. Um, and it took some getting used to. It felt like I only had a small section to draw in, you know, it was a bit cramped. But honestly, once I did start drawing, I kind of forgot about um, the all the extra, like all the menus didn't bother me as much. I really liked their brushes. I remember that was something that stood out to me. I felt that the way the brushes interacted with each other was just really nice. They mixed well. It kind of felt smooth. I really liked it. Now I have Clip Studio Paints on my laptop and I draw with a actual drawing tablet. This is the XP Pen 22 Second Gen, I believe is the name and yeah it's much bigger than my ipad which is 11 inches this is i think 22 inches and so it's very spacious i never really have to worry about my screen being too crowded or i ended up switching from using my ipad to using an actual drawing tablet because at the time i remember i had just received like my first ever drawing tablet and I needed something to draw with it so I decided to get clip on my laptop. I thought it would be really great to have the extra space. I think the program is, it's not a, a hard program. Like once you get familiar with where all the basics are, like the tools and uh, the layers and uh, what else? Once you get used to where they are, it's not so overwhelming. I think for me, I find it really easy to sketch on there because with sketching, I don't, there's not a lot of thought process there. It's just um, lines. In the past, when it came to trying to finish something, like fully render something on there, I was hesitant to do so because I wasn't familiar exactly with where everything was and I don't know it just felt a bit like like am I really ready to like start something so complicated and then like get confused and you know stressed out so but it's getting a lot easier now. There are so many features on Clip Studio Paint that I really, really like and that I wished um, Procreate had. I think probably the main thing for me is the ability to flip my, my canvas's view. You have a, an option to flip the canvas itself, but then you also have another option to just flip how you view the canvas. Um, I have a button um, programmed on my tour box that I just click and I can just flip it horizontally like and it's really quick as well their lasso tools there's there's the default one the lasso fill tool i really like that so where you just um it's a tool where you just circle like lasso and the second you let go it fills in whatever shape you've created um and then there's this other one um that i got from the assets library um and the assets library is it's a library within Clip Studio where you can go and search for different um, brushes or uh, treaty packs and stuff like that. It's really cool. Basically, when you, you can select around your line art and it just automatically like fills in within 
the line art it doesn't go outside the lines and it's it's really like it's really good like it's fairly accurate um it always surprises me because sometimes my line art isn't like super connected but it still kind of gets it i mean here and there it does kind of mess up a bit but it saves a lot of time and i really appreciate that um they also have this feature where you can create a border outline i've always really liked that look um like writing with like text and having like that outline or whatever or drawing like shoelaces and stuff also something i think is really really cool it's like clip studio i think i don't know if they have like a layer cap or i'm not sure but i've noticed that like i've never once gotten like the oh you ran out of layers like you do in procreate so i actually don't know how many layers exactly clip allows you or if it's like unlimited but i know that like it's a lot i think i don't know i have to google that but that's really really cool because sometimes i do hit the last layer like on procreate and it's just like uh it's annoying having to like try and like merge layers together and stuff and ah so it's really nice and i have to worry about that on clip studio paints So, um, let me just talk about what I what it is I'm drawing here. Um, I I wanted to draw like schoolgirls. I don't know. I think I just wanted to draw a uniform, and yeah, I wanted it to be quite simple and like relaxing. But it didn't really feel relaxing as I was drawing it. Like in the beginning, it was. But then when it came to like, I think coloring, I was like, ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't finish this drawing all at once i took like it took me like a few days even like and it wasn't like i was consistently working every day no i did kind of forget about it or just straight up didn't want to finish it because i thought it looked ugly but i pushed through and tried to film as much as i could and yeah i did try to color the girl on the right um but i kind of gave up i was like no i don't have <laughs> i don't have brain power for this and i just colored in the other two on the left yeah i think she came out really cute actually i love her hairstyle that's so cute i was trying to go for something kind of doodly and loose and i could feel myself starting to enter like this detailed rendery um space and i was like okay you should probably stop now like it's enough it's enough you're done <laughs> so yeah in the end i think it turned out nice i'm happy with the results because i was this close to just quitting it and just maybe trying to draw something else something new i found a brush through the um asset store and i just added some sparkles i thought that was so cute There's still so many things that Clip Studio Paint has to offer that I'm sure would probably uh, elevate my digital drawing experience once I figure out how to use them. But so far, I've been really enjoying using this program and I find it really is as good as people say it is. And I do highly recommend it to, to other digital artists or even people wanting to try digital arts. They offer a three months free trial and they also go on sale pretty often. So what's the harm in trying it out? You have nothing to lose and a lot to gain. I think that's everything that I can think about talking about today. So I think I'm just gonna go now. Thank you so much Clip Studio Paint for sponsoring this video. You guys are so kind. And thank you guys for watching the video. Bye.